Hey guys, welcome to Technology Tips and Tricks. So today we're going to be doing the second video on the on the free Athlon PC. So in this video, we're going to be installing the powerful system utilities for the, for the motherboard. On this computer, and see, and see how great they are. Er, and we're gonna look at their features. So we're gonna go to my, to our file explorer, and yeah, let's install the powerful system utilities. So, so I got so I got the CD right here, and here I have the CD for the dry for the. This is the CD for the drivers, and this is the CD that we're going to be using in this video. So, so, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna get it out, and here's the CD. But first, l let me tell you what utilities are in the CD, and then we'll start installing them. And I also have a, a manual for both the main board and and the powerful system utilities. So, so let's read here. So, so we have PC Cillian 2004. This is an antivirus. So, it's like any other antivirus, like AVG or Avast. So, just point my camera to the CD, to the CD cover, right here. And then we have Virtual Drive version 7. This is a software used to make virtual CD drives so, like a, a virtual CD partition, like the CD drive I have here. And then we have your storage free light. It it is used to recover your files, system configuration, and and even your operate and even your OS. It's to any point of time prior to data loss or system failure. Would would restore your PCs completely? Okay. And then we have Partition Magic 6.0 SE. So this is a partition manager like disk management, which is the which is the which is the default partition manager in Windows XP in every operating system from Windows in every Windows operating system and then we have drive image 4.0 which is used to to enable that that lets users back up recover or upgrade your critical hard disk data quickly easily and safely Okay guys, so without further ado, let's start installing these powerful system utilities. Okay guys, so I got the camera point point to the monitor. Let's let's open up the sleeve and and we're gonna get the CD out. Put it in the CD drive. And we're gonna wait for it to read off of of the CD. Now to read in, and and here we can, and here we can choose the program that we want to install. So first we'll start off with PC Cillian 2004. Mm. We're gonna start. We're gonna start off by installing PC Cillian 2004. Let's see if this works. Alright, here we are. We're going to click on next. I accept the license agreement. Okay, so it doesn't have any viruses because this is a clean install. And yeah, so it's probably not going to detect any viruses. <coughs> so. It's going to scan for viruses. Okay, organization. String it. U two. 
Gunn and Chopin. Tips. Install it here. Next. And you click install. Now it's going to start installing the antivirus. Okay guys, so PC solar is now installing. I'm going to let it install and we'll get back to you guys when it's installed. Uh, the CD drive is going crazy right now. We'll install while installing. And yeah, it's going crazy right now, as you can hear. Guys, right, so the installation is completed. Now we're going to click finish. And we're going to move on to the second program. Which is Farsum Virtual Drive 7. Click on install. And now, it's, and now it's going to load up the setup for Virtual Drive 7. So we're going to wait for it to load. Alright, here we are. Okay, so we're going to go to the desktop. And... So we don't have PC ceiling on here. Okay, now it's going to install virtual drive. Here's the wizard. I'm going to click on next. I will accept the license agreement. Click on next. Next. Install. And now we're going to let this install and I'll, get, and I'll get back to you guys when it's installed. Okay guys, so, so the program is installed. We're going to untick for the pro for the wizard to launch the program. We're just going to take this for to create a shortcut on the desktop. And there's our shortcut, a virtual drive manager. And yeah, the, set the setup for a virtual drive is complete. But, uh, it, cr it automatically created a new drive for us, so that's great. So now, so now we're going to install Partition Magic 6.0. This is the partition manager, or that's like, that's like any other partition manager, like disk management, like disk management, which is, which is Microsoft's default disk manager. All right, now I'm gonna let it install. Uh. I don't have, I don't have any, alright, now I'm going to add the, and now I'm going to add the shortcut to the desktop, and yeah, partition magic is, is now installed, let's move on, to drive image 4.0, we have this warning, this version of drive image now create image files of NTFS five partitions. For information about using drive image to create these files, contact PowerQuest Com Corporation. We're gonna click continue to install the program. And you click on next. Wait. Is strong recommended. All right. Serial. Serial number. Yeah, we're gonna continue. 
and click on next. Next. And I was gonna start installing drive image. Oh yeah, we have to we have we have the same we have the same recommendation to create rescue disks. No, I don't want to create those diskettes. I want to register online. All right. So we're gonna add the shortcut to the desktop. And yeah, guys, the the, the utilities are installed. We're gonna remove the disk from the CD drive and put it back in the sleeve where the driver CD is staying. Or the CD for the driver is staying. Alright, guys, L let's test out the utilities from virtual drives to drive image because it didn't pin the PC still into the desktop and yeah, I cannot access it. Let's start by opening up Virtual Drive. <laughs> Alright. This lets us... Okay. Unblock. We have some features, which is Insert Eject Build. This lets us build a Virtual Drive, but we're not going to do that right now. And yeah. So this one's my favorite, Partition Magic 6.0. Uh it can only run in DOS mode. And can only run in DOS mode. Let's see that. That I'm gonna click on no. And yeah. Partition Magic can be only executed in DOS mode. So now we're gonna click on Drive Image. Why? Why? Why do you want me to go into DOS mode? I don't want to go into DOS mode. But let's see what happens if we will. So we're gonna click on Yes here. Unable to prepare a machine for reboot. Exit code 2. You must run Partition Magic Special Edition from DOS or the, from the Rescue Discat. I'm not gonna. So, I don't have Rescue Discat because I don't have any floppies. Dri Let's see if the same will happen for Drive Image. Yeah. So, so, so the only thing we can write, run right now is Virtual Drive Manager. So. Yeah, we install these utilities, but we have to go into DOS mode for Partition Magic and Drive Image, but we can't because we don't have Rescue Discats or DOS Discats. Yeah, so, yeah guys, there's one more thing we're going to do right now for this video, and the second thing is to install a another f hard drive, so we're going to do that right now, I'm going to pick it up. So I picked up the hard drive that we're going to install for this video, and here's the hard drive. It's a Western Digital Caviar SE. It's the same size as the Mac Store hard drive if that's, that's inside this computer. It's the same 8 gigabyte hard drive, and we're going to install it in this computer. So first up, we got to shut down the computer. Well, the computer's on, as it may cause issues. So we're gonna install this hard drive. So we're gonna replace is the non-working CD drive with this hard drive right here. So, so oh, it's restarting. Okay, guys, let's go on to installing the drive. Okay, guys, so I have the computer flipped, and here's the hard drive that we're gonna install. So. Let's let's unplug the non-working hard drive, the non-working CD drive, and yeah, it's now unplugged. Try to rem let's try to take it out, guys. Yeah, so I can't take it out. 
but I managed to unplug it. So now we're going to plug it in like so. We're going to plug it into its ports. So a uh, hard time doing this, but I'll do it. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do this off camera. So install the second hard drive, which as you can see right here it's installed. I did have a little hard time plugging it, plugging it in, but now let's see if the computer will recognize it. Okay. So let's fire the computer up. The new hard drive plugged in. I'll get back when this will. Okay, so there, it detected the drive. Detected the brand the brand new hard drive. So yeah, we're gonna go into manage and then go into disk management. And it should pop up as unallocated. Okay, so I'm going to disk management. And here we have it. So let's see if we if the partition show up. All right. So so I have the hard drive plugged in, and it seems like we do have some data. As you can see right here. Hmm. This drive may contain our operating system. Let's see. So I'm going to restart. And this drive may contain another operating system, but I'm not really sure. So I'm going to restart and, and see if another operating system pops up. Okay. So uh, I went to the OS Choices menu and it only shows this operating system. So we're going to start. And this might be the particular. The operating system some that we have installed on here. So, so this hard drive has some owner's files as I see. So we're gonna boot back into Windows XP. And this might be our, the system partition that we're using right now. And it is. So. So, so I'm going to end up formatting the drive. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to configure something right here. Maybe it's not initialized, but yeah, let's see. So it's online, initialize. Okay. So I'm going to. So I have to end up formatting this drive now. So let's do that right now. So we're gonna type in disk part list disk. So wait, wait list volume. So we're gonna format G and H. Select volume four format FS NTFS quick and we have those commands. 
And it looks like it doesn't work. Alright guys. Looks so like we'll have to format it using the file explorer. So we're gonna format with the NTFS file system with quick format. So I'm going to leave the G volume after formatting. And I'm going to leave the H volume. So, so I'm going to leave the G volume and I'm gonna, yeah, I said that. All right, from from Soltech and install our hard drive, which is laying down here as you can see. I found the owner's data. I formatted the disk because because that owner doesn't use the computer anymore. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and of course, leave a comment and join my Discord server. So, so yeah, guys. Bye.